Hey guys, welcome back to part two of the interview. And today I'm interviewing Omar, who is a fourth year student in Luigi Van Vitelli in Napoli. Uh, in the first part, we talked about the university and now we're going to focus more on city life and kind of what type of student Napoli is suited for, because I truly believe that you need to make your decision based on whether you're going to vibe <laughs> with that university and not more so than the reputation of it. So with that, um, could you tell me, Omar, a bit like how you personally prepared for the IMAT? How I prepare, prepared for the IMAT. All right. Um, first of all, I am a, an A-level and IGCSE student. So I'm, I'm, I was doing the British curriculum, British high school curriculum. And so obviously that helped me a lot. Um, as you might know, Cambridge University is the one who does my uh, exams in high school. And it also does the IMAT test. Mm. And uh, uh, so during my high school, I've, I've been studying biology, chemistry, physics, and math. So obviously that helped me a lot. And so all I did was study the same uh the same curriculum that i've been taking in high school and using the same books to practice for the uh science questions in the uh imat however imat obviously is consisted of a lot of other things your general knowledge logic thinking etc so for those i would do a lot of pa i did all the past papers of the imat i did there's also a uh a book called Alpha Test, I think, mm. which contains a lot of uh, um, logic thinking questions. <clears throat> and during the IMAT, or at least during the my time in the IMAT, the logic thinking questions were the majority of the questions. And that's where you can take most of the points. Uh, even if they're kind of reduced now, I think, it's yeah. still a big chunk of the question. And a lot of people actually get in just by these questions that was so uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go so um so it's very 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 important for you to focus on these and you will never be able to reap the benefits of that part unless you do a lot of questions a lot because it it, it i every question obviously it's different there's no specific curriculum but it, it shows you how to think it shows you how to approach a question you know the different ways to think about it so you have to do a lot of questions <clears throat> and then after you do so many questions and you study, et cetera, then you start doing the past papers for the IMAT. And when you do the past papers for the IMAT, um, the best way to go about it is this. Of course, you have to time yourself. Of course, you have to uh, take note of every, uh, like all this, after each test, you take note of the score and see how you improve by time. And Every question or every sorry, every wrong answer you make, you 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 find that topic, you open the book and go directly to it. So, to to reiterate, the best way to 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 study isn't to just take the book and study from top to bottom. It's to do the exam, find the first thing you do wrong, and then that's where you that's where you go. Don't start from the beginning because you're going to be wasting a lot of time, and it's a lot of material for like. Some, something small. So just find where you're weak and tackle that specifically to to conserve time. And uh, just keep doing a lot of questions. That's all you have to do. Just a lot, a lot of questions. And eventually you're going to be able to uh, do it. Also, there are programs. Uh, I've been to a program in Milan uh, to a school called Leonardo da Vinci, uh, where, where there is an IMAT course. Wait, I, don't know if you know I, 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 I don't want to talk about like paid things, if that makes sense. I think it's uh, it has to because be, yeah, there, there are like, like courses you can find. Specifically. Yeah, because uh, ninety percent of the people who I talked to that did those paid courses told me that they really regretted it and it was just way too much money. So um, I don't I don't want it to seem like I'm endorsing something that I can't vouch for the quality of. But I understand. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. but you're if, right. You're right. Yeah, but so like regarding the books, there are sets of books that everyone so far has recommended. So I'm just going to put them in the description as affiliate links, because why yeah. not? Um, but also, yeah. also the MCAT, MCAT questions are important. So. OK, so use the Let's MCAT, go. the IMAT, past papers. I mean, it is really mm -hmm. like logical, like use Cambridge books. The test is done by Cambridge. Yes. It makes yeah. um, a lot of sense. So 
Why would you recommend students to actually study in your university, in Napoli? Like not even your university, but like what type of student do you think Napoli would suit? Because, you know, I can't recommend anyone who prefers more quiet, calm, scenic, close to nature, like types to come to Rome, because Rome is a, like a garbage fire. Like it's chaotic and it's loud and it's busy. And so like, what type of student do you think Napoli would suit? Right. So the way you described Rome right now, <clears throat> you can take that and multiply it by 10 <laughs> and you'll have Napoli. Right. Perfect. So Napoli is a very gritty city. It's uh, very, um, let's say, uh, chaotic. Yeah. Every time you leave the house, it's an adventure. <laughs> nice. That's a good way of putting it, you know. And that's actually one of the reasons why I like it. I'm. I've lived in Egypt. I've lived in. Uh, you know, it's just this. A city like this, it just feels. You know. Um, I feel comfortable, you know, it's, 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 yes, some, but some people aren't used to the disorganization. It's not very organized. Like if you're, um, if you have a, an appointment, you should take two buses earlier because okay. <laughs> I mean, that bus that you're set, you, that you set that's going to, it's not going to come at the same time, believe me. So, uh, so you, it's, it's a very chaotic city. Um, but at the same time, it's very beautiful. How in terms of the culture, the people and the atmosphere in general, it's very, uh, it's, it's a very friendly kind of city. Everyone's just so friendly. You can talk to whoever in the street and they'll just greet you happily. Uh, as opposed to maybe other cities in the North, people can be more reserved to put it nicely. Um, and, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, here in Napoli, people are much more open. Also, the weather is much nicer. Um, it, it never snows here. I think it snowed once in the past 30 years. Um, I wouldn't recommend it to a student who prefers quiet, mm. who prefers um, an organized city where <clears throat> I just go home, I sit, I get to do all my stuff. Everything is reliable. Just If, if you're I mean... that kind of student... <clears throat> Some people aren't like that, you know? I, I, I <laughs> because... think, really, if you're that type of student, Italy in general might not be for you. Um, what? I think if you're that type of student where everything has to be organized and perfect and runs on time, I think Italy in general might not be super your vibe. Yes. But maybe, I mean, in the north, maybe Milan or something like that. These, yeah. these places are much more, you know... I, I think if it's a really small town like i i would imagine that pavia is pretty organized because there's nothing to organize like is how i would see it um i don't think that <laughs> or Milan torino would... or something like that yeah oh yeah oh you know what yeah i take it back probably turin is very like modern and organized and nice but i don't vibe with that i love the chaos like i thrive on the chaos exactly. like, so it's a north south yeah yeah like i i'm very like people person like i need the hustle and i need a lot of people and i need to do things and not see people I'm going to know and have like be able to do something different every night. So like city life. Yeah, so, th so think like New York and Florida, you know? Yeah. 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 Perfect. Nature and, and you know, civilization city <laughs> Just kidding. And, and the gutters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, some people uh, try on that, but you know, like also not that I want to give this answer for you, but I know that like Napoli's food culture is incredibly rich um it has yeah it has a very very like unique cuisine that i mean basically also it's the birthplace of pizza let's be honest pizza, yeah fun fact <clears throat> the first place to ever uh work pizza was created i think everyone knows it. it's called <clears throat> pizzeria di michele it's right down the street so if i stand in the balcony i can see it <laughs> don't so, yeah, dox yourself how, on how the internet <laughs> what don't dox yourself on the internet no, I'm fine. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like everyone knows where I am at this point. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. That that pizza place honestly changed my opinion of pizza. It was the best pizza I ever had. And it was only like four euro, which is mind blowing. And it was like this yeah. big. Like But did you dad send in line? Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to wait a really long time. But it was worth it. It was it was it was pretty worth it. So People who like kind of busy, rich culture, warm, yes. very friendly, because... Oh, very like, culturally rich, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I would say that because, like you said, the North does tend to be a bit more reserved, whereas, you know, the more Mediterranean you get, the people are more like warm blooded, very much like people, people. Um, people are much louder. And I have to also, uh, I, I have, because I can't just say, oh, it's perfect. It's amazing. It's so nice. You have to, you have to also, you know, realize that Napoli isn't for everyone. And mm -hmm. When I say it's not for everyone, I, I don't mean, oh, it's for 90% of the people, but 10% won't like it. No, you can hear right now, right? <laughs> this is, this is all throughout the day. It's a loud, it's, it's a loud place. It's very um, chaotic. Um, it, it's, it's probably not the cleanest place. It's, uh, it's uh, disorganized. You have to, you have to, you have to say what you have to say, right? So, yeah. uh, so all of these things you have to keep in mind before coming to that. But other than that, the, the pros are it's, it's, people are very friendly here. It's a very culturally rich city. Um, there's amazing food here. Um, and, and generally things are much cheaper, which is very important. Yeah, to point yeah. Out. The cost of living is a lot lower. No, I mean, the whole point of these interviews is that we want to show like an accurate representation, not just what you read online. Yeah. So like you should be as honest as you can i just don't like the idea that's perpetuated that like napoli is incredibly dangerous and like you can't walk down oh, the no, street no. yeah in terms of danger it's not dangerous i mean maybe if you're being an idiot and walking alone at 3 a.m maybe yeah then maybe you might be like uh, pickpocketed or maybe even mugged that's not far-fetched yeah and uh, yes you sh like it shouldn't be where you get mugged just for walking home alone however this is how the city is like. So you have, so if you're going to stay in Napoli, you have to be smart. You have to be like if you're going home a little bit late, you have to be with someone. Um, try to you know if maybe if it's too late and you're alone, take a taxi or something like that. It's much better than you know just risk it. How how would you describe getting around the city? Because you mentioned like a taxi and stuff. Like could you cycle around the city? What is your transport like? Um, what is the cost of the transport? Could you give us like a really good overview of the transport basically? So metro uh, is one of the main, obviously, main uh, ways of transport. There's no trams. There's just some trams around the, 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 the ports and the, the seaside areas. However, these aren't, uh, they don't cover much of the city. There are two metro lines, metro uh, line one and line two. They're very like, uh, they cover most of the places you need to go. However, there's a lot of, uh, walking involved because sometimes it doesn't make sense to take the metro even though the metro is like maybe five minutes away from your home and the university is 15 you're probably going to walk all the way to the metro and go go down and just wait buy a ticket by the time the metro comes at the end of the day it's probably the same amount of time so sometimes you feel like oh, it's not worth it so it doesn't cover that much where you can go easily like anywhere right so there's a lot of walking involved and uh, actually i don't know if, if, if this happened in, in rome in the north if it was already there or if it's something new but in napoli this year and like in 2020 they introduced these uh these scooters yeah uh, yeah 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 obviously yeah it probably happened too these scooters where you know you can uh the, the ride share scooters where you can just use an app and use them like the electronic ones and you can get around very easily. They're all over the place. Very easy to 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 learn. You learn them like the first time, and uh, you get around easily with them. Not that expensive. Uh, another way of transport, of course, is the bus. Um, the bus is um, is reliable. You you can take it, but sometimes it's it's late, right? But it's there. And uh, another big issue is the late uh, night transport. It's very few and far between. But, uh, once you're past two or three, you're at this point, just take a taxi you know, or just walk if okay. you're safe. Did you, sorry, did you mention the cost of like the monthly transport ticket? Oh, um, I know there's a, it keeps changing every year, but I know there's a, I, I don't, I don't use it. And I honestly don't think it's worth it because okay. um, you, you end up walking everywhere. And you know the city is in, like, sorry, the university is in the center. So wherever you are, it's within walking distance. And uh, but the 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 transport card is 
uh, I think maybe 50 euros, a, sometimes it's 50 euros a year. Mm, wow, that's can, so cheap. Uh, well, yeah, but remember I said it, even with that amount, it's still sometimes not worth it. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I do know that um, I have it written up somewhere on the website. I was just wondering if you had it like off the top of your head, but that's that's really cheap. No, no, I think I think it's yeah, maybe fifty. At, at some point, it was. I, I know I paid a hundred for the first one I got, but someone, a lot of people told me like, no, you can you know do this and that and get a fifty dollar fifty euro one. Wow. So okay. I know you can, you can maneuver yourself around. It's easy. Wow. So what what would the um, we briefly talked about accommodation in the first part and now about the transport ticket, but like, how would you generally think, like, say the cost of living is in the city? Like, you know, like if you go out for a nice meal with your friends for a starter and a main course and a glass of wine, I mean, I know you don't drink, but like for a glass of wine, how much would, um, how much would it cost? Do you think? Um, <clears throat> you gotta you got to realize that also Napoli is a touristic city. Mm. So supermarkets and, 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 and stores and stuff like that, they might be cheap, but restaurants are restaurants all over Europe, all over, sorry, all over Italy. They probably, they cost the same. They're, 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 you know, the same prices you would expect. Um, if you, you're probably going to end up, paying like maybe a, a big meal with with the first and second courses and a drink and stuff probably end up paying 100 120 something like that per person uh, i'm no, not no, really okay. sure i haven't, I haven't okay really I've, I've, i'm not i'm not talking like a fancy restaurant i'm talking like you just finished university you just want to grab like oh, no, a quick I, dinner with your friend and you're going to get like bruschetta and a pasta dish and a glass oh, of that's, wine that's that's different that's different. yeah yeah that's that's what, sorry <laughs> that's what i was referring to yeah, maybe 20 per person or something. Like okay, that. okay, yeah. Not like first course, second course, main, like all that. That's a whole different story. No, no, I, I, I was talking like more like just like a casual sit down and you have like... Mm, maybe a, maybe 20 per person, that's... that's. But nobody nobody eat like no, nobody goes and eats out every day, right? That's like a one, like once yeah. a week maybe kind of thing. Usually you buy stuff and things are cheap in terms of like groceries even even a pizza is like three and a half euros yes yeah, so uh, pizza. from margarita or something like that yeah three and a half euros very nice also you can order all the way to your house a three and a half euro pizza yeah no delivery costs it's just there oh, so, that's so just so these cheaper, small things are like yeah they, they make you feel like it's worth it <laughs> um so outside of dinner then what what would be some activities for students to do in the city um a lot yeah there's there's a lot of sports like i said a lot of fields there's tennis courts there's uh there's a lot of beaches all around napoli of course you know there's amalfi coast there's sorrento there's all these places that you can reach within uh within just the the, the metro of napoli just the lines line one and line two they can take you many places it, there's obviously mount vesuvio there's you can go to pompeii all these amazing places around napoli are there and if you just want to stay around in the city, um, there's uh, people go to like maybe uh, bars and clubs at night. Maybe they go in the morning. There's there's bowling. There's uh, there's there's a lot of things you can do. There's it it, it really goes down to your imagination. Mm. Anything you want to do, you're just gonna end up doing it. There's cinema. There's everything. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to think. I I feel like I'm looking at a different list of questions than I usually ask because they don't really look that familiar but is there anything that you would kind of like add or warn people about like <clears throat> if you could do it all over again would you choose Napoli again well, I mean, of course not, because I've already had the Napoli experience. I want to experience something else. No, no, no. But as if you like, didn't experience uh, yeah. Napoli, yeah. Um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure. I mean, I would recommend that people uh, don't. <laughs> it's it's a very specific thing. Okay. But don't uh, uh, ever rent an apartment before actually coming to the city. Like never call and like pay anything to rent an apartment before coming to the city because you have to see the apartment before renting it even if you see pictures the location is there an elevator 
all that stuff, the, just the, the quality of everything, you have to see the apartment before you, before you take it. And, uh, and also, um, don't expect to come here and speak English with people. Nobody speaks English. Very rarely, only like some, only like in certain places in the university. And so my bank, my bank, nobody speaks English there. So, uh, so wow. if you're coming to Napoli, you might as well just learn Italian a few months before coming. Uh, in contrast of maybe going to Milan or something, people speak English to an extent. Um, yeah. What else? The, the thing is, the student from Napoli said, uh, sorry, from Milan said the same thing, like, learn Italian before you get here. Like, not a lot oh, of But that's just Italian. general advice. I know because English, I've, I've lived in Milan for a few months. Yeah. I've lived in Milan for a few months. People speak, I mean, you can you can communicate with people here. It's you not communicate, not even yes and no. Okay. Nothing. Wow. Okay. I mean, I think it's generally good advice that if you if you want to come to Italy, you should learn Italian beforehand. Yes. I think, like myself included, I severely underestimated um, how little people would know English because, like, I thought Rome, super touristic yeah. city, exactly. everyone's going to speak English here. No, learn Italian before you get here. Like, start today if you're even considering coming to Italy for medicine, like start learning Italian right now. <laughs> like, um, I mean, technically you can just get by by going to the university, going home, take, going to the supermarket, coming home, but learning the language opens up a whole different experience, a whole, like a lot of doors, meeting new people, communicating with people in the street. And when you're in trouble or you need to, you need to say something to someone, like it, it just makes you much more independent. Yeah. Yeah. That, yes. that, that's, uh, that's a pretty fair warning, I feel like. Um, yeah, I think, honestly, I think I lost my original list of questions because this felt really incomplete, so I'm sorry about that. But oh, anyway, sorry. if people I mean, I have any... covered a lot. Yeah, I, I think we covered like a lot of like basics. Like th this would be what, like the gist of what I would like to know before I went to, say, mm -hmm. um, Napoli. But anyway, people can ask in the comments or they can visit the website and I will answer their questions. But... Yeah, I wanted to thank you, Omar, for not doing this once, but doing it twice. Uh, because, it's my it's my again, it, it was and like... I really enjoyed doing this, and I, I, I'm, I'm actually very proud of what you're doing. It's, it's very helpful for people. <laughs> <Not> yeah, <kidding. laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, yeah, I just, I just really hope it's going to help people. But, yeah, so I'm going to say bye. I will flash your Instagram one more time. You guys should I... give him a follow and ask him your Napoli questions. But yeah, If you need yeah. anything, you always know where to find me. And yeah, thank you.